Right, so um, we're here with Sam after today's 2-1 defeat against Southall. Got to be honest, probably the most disappointed I think we've felt coming off after a game. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, was it? Um, seven minutes injury time, ball goes up. You 1 0 up. We literally conceded two goals in what, four minutes, four or five minutes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, how can you not be disappointed? It's very much uh, a case of Southall doing to ask what we did to Guernsey a few mm. weeks back. Yeah. I guess the question we have to ask is where did we get it wrong? What, what changes did we make that? took us from being in a comfortable position to losing all three points. Uh, see, legs started to give out towards the end, so we had to make some changes. It was just obviously then looking at the potential shape and how we changed that. They were obviously trying to exploit um, down the sides, so we didn't want to change it too much in, in the middle, so we could try and combat that. Um, it was just an array of errors, unfortunately. And yeah, I, I will take back and look back at the uh, footage again and see if maybe it's my subs that I've, uh, I've got it wrong at the time but I think you've got you've still got 11 on the pitch with 7 minutes to go there's enough enough out there to spoil the game and, and take the points in my opinion yeah I'd go along with that I mean I think the question that a lot of us have is was Nabil injured because he's been in the ballroom he's been voted the man of the match mm -hmm. um, he looked lively and if I'm honest I think we lost a lot when he came off uh, yeah, if that's, that's the opinion of everyone in there, that's, that's fine. I mean, my opinion is he stopped running. Okay. So if, if, if that's fine, if someone wants to have that opinion, that's no problem. My opinion is I looked at it and it looked like he'd stopped. So countless times did I see a fullback go past him. So to me, it was like seven minutes to go. Let's put some people on that are obviously going to see it through. Okay. Is there a case, and um, I know it's awkward questions today, but we're, we're being forced further and further back. Yeah. We then bring on another defensive midfielder, and I know Rooney's a great player. Yeah. But was there a case that by bringing him on, we were forced him to drop in even deeper? We didn't change the shape. It was still the same shape, so it was obviously that asked to do it. He actually won his won his tackles. Unfortunately, and probably the only error for him, and I'm, obviously that's a conversation between me and him. Is yeah. obviously when we put get the free kick, he bounces the ball off the player that's standing in front of it. The referee lets us play on. We run up. We try and take on a million players. Yeah, doesn't that's... work, and then we end up conceding. So, if you put your foot on the ball, just waits their time, in my opinion. So, um, that's probably the only error really that Bruni really done. It's obviously good to have him back. Oh, yeah, didn't use his experience at that point. Obviously, I'm not saying he's. A... Believe me, I'm not saying he's a bad player. <laughs> no, but I'm no. just thinking that yeah. when you got him and Jordan, mm -hmm. they're both similar in their yeah. their roles, and naturally they are they will drop. Mm -hmm. So you then got your back four and you. Defensive midfielder, so you're almost with a back seven. Really, yeah. When you, but that's, I mean, as you said earlier, it's all about opinions. Yeah. Um, Mac didn't get any game time today. Is he injured or is he sort of? We just injured? made different. We just made different subs. I think okay. in the day, I think with with Gabs up top at the time, um, it's our game for him to be fair because the referee really didn't help. They had literally two players on him the whole whole game. One he piggybacked probably for about eighty five minutes, and the other one. He had round his knees, so some people probably pay for that content. To be fair, like what we saw, so and the referee done nothing about it. Um, it's one of them things he done that. I'm not sure if Mac would have been able to to, to deal with that at that point. Okay. We move on now. Another tough game coming up on Tuesday against South Park. Yeah. Do we have any injury worries going into that game? Do we have any sort of unavailability issues, or are we looking fairly strong? Uh, as it stands. Should have a full squad to, to pick from. Um, they won 2 0 against Hashtag, so um, a good win for them today. Yeah, yeah so we know that we're going to be um, strong opponents. They've got a good side. Tom Cope's got them playing some good football um, this season. They've got a strong squad. So, um, so for me to now to now look at, I was hoping to focus on that game of three points, and um, clearly not this time. So we've got to make sure we try and get it right. We have. I mean, obviously, we're on a, a slight. Bad run, mm -hmm. let's be fair. It's four games without a, without a win. Mm -hmm. We've no doubt that you will turn it around because you've shown that at the start of the season that you can get the boys playing some good football. Mm -hmm. But we just need to break this little spell, don't we? Yeah, I also think that, that is it. I think we just need to go back to obviously what we were doing well before. And I think most of that is actually off the, off the ball more so than, than on the ball. Um, I think a couple of times where we think we've got the, the game won at, at times and we start to do 
um, a few mental things, shall we say, yeah. uh, at times. So I think it's just tidying up a little bit, get the housekeeping right. Um, and yeah, it's an important run. Um, obviously, yeah, South Park first, um, Westfield, little break in Hartley and Whitney. So that's what we've got for the rest of the month. And we need to, it's important that we, uh, we get it right. And most importantly, pick up the results on um, at home. Because for me, I'm looking at it as two bad results at home. Yeah, sure. Well, thank you very much for your honesty today, Sam. I know it's not an easy thing to do after a, a result like that, but thank you. And we will go again on Tuesday. Cheers.